How's it going, everybody? Stop it, you just saying, what is good to all my Super Saiyan homies? Here to bring you all sorts of anime gaming content. If you enjoy the video or find this video helpful, please consider hitting that thumbs up, subscribing, and turning on all notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. That being said, today we're going to go in for another fantastic equips and where to find them. Uh, this time we're going to be going for the LF Corrupt Zamasu. I said I was going to do this uh, yesterday, but I ended up uh, just posting a short yesterday. Just was busy, you know, just kind of had to work around my schedule, uh, which is hopefully going to lighten up soon. But that being said, we're going to look at uh, the boy LF Zamasu. So yeah, he's got a lot of tags. He's got a lot of options. So we'll try and go through them, uh, I guess, as quickly, but as efficiently as possible. So first up, we have the Awakened Master Corrin, and I actually like the regular version of this as well. Uh, it's just slightly lower stats, uh, and it's not a pure buff for the last one, but even even as the regular one, uh, it does have a nice double defense, and then strike attack. Uh, for the Awakened version, though, it's 20, 18 in the middle, and then 5% pure per god key, which is really, really good, especially because, you know, that's where the, you'd like to run them, since we finally have a red god key unit. Uh, but yeah, that being said, you can get this one in the god key missions in the, like, the equipment event. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, the uh, Awakened Awakenings you get through Ultra Space Time Rush Medals. Now we've also got the Awakened E eh? from uh, the Equipment Metal Shop and the Z Metal Shop as well. Uh, so with this one, you got Strike Defense, Base Critical, and then at the end you got either Blast Attack or Strike Attack at 21.5%. Uh, this applies to all God Key units, and then yeah, uh, again you know you can roll either a Strike or a Blast based equip. That's going to work out really well for whichever one you need. Next, we have the Awakened You Stay Here. Now, this one I would actually say that you could... Yeah. For him, if you're at low stars, you're better off running the Unawakened version because the last one is a pure buff based on future. Uh, and if you are running him on God Key, I mean, yes, I guess they kind of overlap a little bit, but I don't know. I would say you're better off having the pure version that goes up to, uh, I believe, either 18 or 20% on the strike attack. Uh, it's not pure, it's to base, but still. Uh, you know, you're just getting that as opposed to having that locked behind. You need uh, at least a couple other fusion. Uh, or not fusion, future characters to get the most out of it. Uh, but that being said, you can get this one in the future uh, missions in, you know, the equipment event as well. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to uh, the next one. Next up, we've got the Awakened. I'll turn you both into Scrap, which works for uh, all red melee types. And this one's pretty interesting uh, because you get the Unawakened version via, uh, again, the Equip Medals or the Z Medals. Uh, and for this one, at the beginning, you're either getting Blast Defense or Strike Attack, and then you're getting Critical and Strike Attack in the middle and Strike Defense on the end. So you're either getting Double Defenses uh, and a small little Strike Attack with Critical in the middle, or you're getting a really hefty Strike Attack with Critical and then Strike Defense on the back end. Uh, so yeah. Newly added in with the whale coins, the Z medals, we have this scythe will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh. That's got strike, strike, special move, and ultimate. Purely offensive, but for a guy who doesn't really tank very well, that's kind of a nice thing to have. Next up with the equip medals, we have power unleashed. Once again, this kind of applies for, you know, when you have a god key uh, person with him. Uh, now, at the same time, he does get a pure buff of just 12.5. There's not per, but it's still extremely solid. You got blast in the middle and then blast defense at the beginning. So again, double offenses. Again, he's not really tanking anything. So you might as well go all in, go, excuse me, go all in on the offenses. With the equipment medals, you can get this bad boy right here, Bois, which is real interesting. Got blast defense, special move and ultimate move in the middle, and then a very nice strike attack of 21.5. So yeah, some really solid offenses here that all work for him really well. His blue card giving the, uh, whatchamacallit, the type neutral, and then the ultimate, or actually it might be his green card. I may have messed that up, I don't remember, but regardless, you know, having a, having a blue card and an ultimate buff and one passive or one slot is solid. And then again, 21.5 for strike attack, very solid equip at the end of the day, uh, and this applies to regen melee types. Alrighty. Another one you can get with the equipment medals is the Dimension Sword. Now this one's pretty cool because it's got blast defense, strike defense at pretty decent numbers, 18 and 15, and then pure strike attack per regen battle member. So 6% per regen battle member. So if you do get him, you know, to that three star buff with powerful opponent, and it's really solid. You can run him again. You can run him on regen with all these tanky boys. He may not be tanking all that well, but he's getting a solid mana strike attack here, and he's getting a little bit of extra defenses just from this equip alone. So yeah, that's that, and this one applies to regen melee types as well. 
newly added to the shop with the gold coins you can use you can't even keep up with me can you uh, it's got key recovery and then it's got one of the defenses in the middle it'll choose between blast or strike and then health on the back end uh, since he doesn't really have blast armor on anything I would say strike defense is probably the better one to roll in the middle but you know just giving this boy some health and some defenses in the middle definitely not a bad thing to have and this does apply to all god key units Next, we've got Behold My Perfect Divinity, which you can get in the, whatchamacallit, the, the anniversary story event mission uh, that's going on right now. It's got Strike Defense, Blast Attack, and Strike Attack, all at a very respectable number, highest being on the Strike Attack, which is his most, uh, you know, I guess desired stat, because it is his primary uh, offensive stat. Uh, yeah, again, you can farm this one up right there in that, uh, that little story event right now, and it does apply to all future units, so yeah. Next, we've got You're Still Not a God, which has Strike Attack, Critical, and Defense against Saiyans. None of them are really astronomical, but you can farm this one up right now via the Vegito 50-stage uh, battle that's going on right now. And it does apply to future powerful opponent members. So, uh, yeah, with Saiyans being a pretty common um, you know, threat in the meta, and then again, because he is you know, not really the tankiest of boys, not necessarily the worst equipped to have, not the best either, but it's pretty good, I'd say. Next, we have the Awakened Yes, Let's Go. Now, the Beerus event did just leave that had uh, these just readily staying around, but hopefully, you know, you guys have some lying around that you can awaken. Now, this one is pretty insane when it's awakened, because prior to, it's like, it's like minus 8% to blast attack with, like, maybe, I think, like, plus... 20, 25, something like that. I don't know. I never found it worth it pre-awakening, but now it goes up to 32%, uh, and it still, I think, only take, or it does only take away 8% for blast attack, 22% to blast defense, and then 16% to strike at strike defense. For someone who's not very tanky at all, and for someone who's strike oriented, this is perfect for him. Even if it's going to cost him, you know, again, like 8% to the blast attack, probably a little bit lower because you know who's going to actually get a perfect roll. Uh, this does apply to all god key melee type units. So yeah, just. Definitely a great equip to have for all god key units anyway. And last up, we have one, again, that you cannot farm, is Dr. Giro's computer. If you do have this one lying around, I strongly consider re-rolling it. I actually just re-rolled a couple myself that I had sitting around today. Uh, a couple A's that I re-rolled, one to an S, one to a Z, so which made me very happy. Uh, so yeah, you get either Blast Attack or Strike Attack at the beginning, both defenses in the middle, and then Blast Attack or Strike Attack on the end. Now, depending on whichever one you get rolled on RNG for the first one, since obviously you can't re-roll the first slot, uh, that's what I'd say you should re-roll the second slot for unless you're looking for double offenses but otherwise you know i because you could get upwards of like i'll say 12 percent on the first slot and then 12 percent on the second slot so like 24 percent to whichever respective stat you're looking for rather than 12 percent to each and then you get upwards of 10 percent to defenses in the middle so yeah definitely overall a great equip and my favorite thing about this is its variety because it applies to all girls android and regen characters so yeah with that being said i hope you guys found this one helpful uh we'll be back around for you know probably i guess maybe we'll do kefla and i i, I don't know yet I, I, i'll i'll see oh we had a super saiyan for Gogeta. He's next. That's definitely who's going to be next. But yeah, I will see you guys then. Peace out.